This is the history of Bell Garden. Luckily, this time with Bell Gardens, we actually do have a tribe of the Tonga Indians that lived in the area. They were called the Chok Iskna, recorded to have lived in the area where Bell Gardens is now. It's right about where the Los Angeles River and the Rio Hondo come together, and there was a big agricultural area. And so the Spanish come, and we all know the story. They, they take all the native peoples, and they put them up in their missions, and they start to Christianize them and strip them of their ancestral knowledge. We have a man named Antonio Lugo, who apparently was a big help, and they end up giving him a huge chunk of land called Rancho San Antonio. It's almost the entire southeast LA area was Rancho San Antonio, but he here specifically in Bell Gardens, Lugo builds the oldest standing structure that we still have in Los Angeles County. So now the United States has taken over the region, somewhere around the turn of the century, there is a flourishing Japanese immigrant culture that is starting to grow and feed the Los Angeles County community. They've actually got rice fields growing here. And but then, of course, World War II, we know how the Japanese get treated then. Uh, farewell to Manzanar, you've read the book. So then the Great Depression comes around, and a guy named Otto C. Beck starts building affordable homes. I don't know if he's got a business, I don't know if he's a hustler, but he's building homes and he's bringing in these Okies. And Bell Gardens at some point starts being seen as a sort of hillbilly town. And instead of Bell Gardens, people start nicknaming the place Billy Goat Acres. Now here we jump over to the 1960s where Bell Gardens actually incorporates into a city. But gambling becomes legalized in Bell Gardens, and it's only one of maybe five or six cities in Los Angeles County that has actually legalized gambling at this time. But in the 1980s, you see the Bicycle Casino gets built up, one of the only casinos in Los Angeles County, and rumors immediately begin that it was funded by marijuana. At some point, the Bicycle Casino comes under so much scrutiny that the federal government comes in and actually seizes the assets and takes part in running the casino for a period of time. Today, Bell Gardens has actually dropped in population from the 2010 census to the one we have in the year 2000 and it just continues to sit in the southeast LA area as a large Latin American community squeezed between the 710 freeway on the west side and the 5 freeway on the north and east and the riverbeds coming together on the southern side. Its fate seeming to be tied with whatever happens to other working class, primarily Latin American neighborhoods in Los Angeles. That was it.